Hello, my beautiful collective. Welcome back to Real Intro with Renee. I truly appreciate all of you guys who are tuning in to see the show on this on the evening of the the blood moon. I hope you guys did all your manifestations. Um, this video will not post until most likely uh, November 9th. It's already late. I I would have went earlier, but I had some business to take care of, and I needed to do my own um, blood manifestations. So, you guys, welcome. This is a collective read for all signs. Someone rising Venus North Node. Let's see what the current energy is for you guys, okay? I know one thing. Whew, it's a lot going on in your relationships. And um, energetically, I feel that it's a lot going on. Um, some it's a mix of a little bit of everything, you know what I'm saying? Your love life, um, your family life, a lot of um, chaotic energy surrounding some of you guys. But yeah, let's let's see what spirit has to say overall. This is a collective read. Someone rising Venus North Node. Thank you guys for tuning in. All your likes, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button as you guys watch this video so it can get out to other energies that, that need to receive this message. <clears throat> First card I see here is the star card. Yep, star card followed behind the king of pentacles. Yep, oof, I love that. And page of wands, very good. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Because I feel an energy of success here. Yep. And there it is. Ten of Pentacles. Don't play with me. Ah! This is, I, I like to play with the cards like that because I can feel the energy. I just shuffled in front of you guys so you guys could see how this all plays out and how intuitive uh, my energy is. Um, how I can feel the energy, I should say. Listen, you guys, Aquarian energy here. You guys have could have Aquarian in your chart. Could be dealing with Aquarius or whatever, but listen, star. So you guys are just witches are about to be a fulfilled king of pentacles, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn energy here. You could be eating one of those signs, okay? Um, strong uh Taurus energy here with the King of Pentacles. Didn't have to be, could be a Virgo or a Cappy, um, or any sign that's um going into the King of Pentacles energy. You guys are about to get some good news, right? Pat a page of wands here about a ten of pentacles. Something is about to catapult you forward into your abundance, financial abundance, and security. Okay. But beware. I'm gonna give you guys another row. Beware, I'm gonna shuffle these cards. Um, there is an energy around you that don't like this. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck, you did you have the ace of pentacles. I'm pulling it, yeah, and the mood hidden secrets. Yep, hidden secrets, and you guys are about to get a, this passionate new beginning, knight of wands, Sagittarian energy, okay, coming towards you. And this is and this is the news that's coming towards you. But there is an energy around you guys that's not so happy about it, okay. And you guys, and, and or if it's not that that you're dealing with, you're dealing with, um, I want to kind of like insecurities. Okay. Yeah. Five of cups. Yeah. Somebody's a regret. There it is. Uh, yeah. So, someone is a regret, um, about you having this new beginning. Someone, um, has been hiding their emotions, um, about how they feel for you or you, them, take it out, resonates, Ace of Pentacles. When it comes to you getting this, uh, Ace of Pentacles and this wish fulfillment. Yeah. So like I said, you have haters around you, um, or energies around you that's going to cause some chaos and mayhem um, to um, your growth, okay? Um, so just be prepared for that. I want to get a side, the, side, the side messages. Yeah, high priestess. Yep, you already know this. Yeah, using your intuition going forward um, towards your wish fulfillment here. Uh, cancerian energy. A lot of secrets is about to be revealed. Um, things are about to be exposed. Yep, yeah, that someone's in their head. It's the Eight of Swords. Don't play with me. I told you what the energy is. Yeah, that's the energy. Give me more spirit. Yep, mm -hmm. Four of Wands. Yeah, about this gift or this offer that you're receiving, okay? You guys are going into your full abundance and 
Um, you guys are being recognized as the star. Excuse me, I just wanted to put those to the side. Um, you guys are being recognized as the star. Um, with the with the star card here, your wishes are being granted, fulfilled. You're going into the King of Pentacles energy, okay? Whatever it is that you invested in, it's about to pay off in a very big way and take you into the Ace of Pentacles, right? Um, and that's a good place. You're about to get this news, Page of Wands. Can't make it up that, yeah, that you're about to receive an abundance of financial uh, support. Something that's going to take you over probably for some of you guys into well over into the six figures and for some of you even millionaire status. So congratulations to you, okay? But off to the side here, okay, you do have, um, so, and you do have the moon card here, right? So you guys didn't see this coming or whatever, but it's it's about to hit real fast. But there is an emotion here from someone who's in deep regret. Five of cups here. You see how sad he is um, that you're getting you're getting this acknowledgement. Okay, high priestess energy to the eight of swords to the four of cups. So somebody is really grieving in in their head, mental conflict about you receiving these gifts. Okay, um, high priestess could be uh, from a high priestess energy um a higher uh authoritative figure spirit if you will in this case okay so let's get into the clarifying cards really fast uh, for the collective okay yeah and the bottom of the stick, yeah. Somebody knows that something is coming to an end right now that you're you guys are getting this um this uh this new beginning i'm leaving that uh, death card scorpionic energy i'm gonna leave that in here i'm gonna shuffle these cards um so they could fall out naturally yeah um i feel like you guys some of you guys have been a little stressed um and you know going through a lot of emotional turmoil as well but let me tell you something and i told a friend it's so funny that this energy is coming out, but it's the truth. Anytime you're about to um, go into your next phase or your next level up, you're always greeted with a lot of chaos, stress, and mayhem from um, people around you, uh, people who envy you, that type of thing, um, people who you thought had your back or had your best interests at heart. You know, mass starts to fall off. And in this energy here, I'm deeply seeing that because you do have the energy of the Eight of Swords here, um, clarifying the High Priestess and then the Four of Cups here. You're about, um, you could be getting an offer. Somebody's upset that you're getting this offer. Um, it's kind of like the energy of why them, not me type of energy. But let's see with the cards. Yeah. King of Swords is here on the bottom of the deck. Yep. Some type of truth clarifying you're in your full power with the star card here. Yep. Two of Cups. Yeah. And for some of you guys, you could be going to a love situation or your this could also be an indication. If it's not a love situation, this Two of Cups is indicating that you're going in to, um, you're, you're about to receive something um, that you truly love and passionate about. So let's say that you guys are um, passionate about the work that you do, the projects that you work on. Um, you Some of you guys could be creatives, take a hot resonates or whatever. It's something that you really love with the Two of Cups here um, that you're passionate about. It's taking you into the King of Pentacles status. Yep, and that's the truth. Um, yeah, with the King of Swords, you know, the King of Swords speaks of truth. Yeah. And yeah. And so with the Four of Cups here, clarifying the Page of Wands, you're, someone wants to offer you a gift of some sort, right? Um, what is it? What is the, what's the Four of Cups? I just, I'm so nosy. I, I can't even go into Ten of Pentacles yet. Four of Cups. Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning. Thank you. So this is what's being offered to you with the Page of Wands, um, to the Four of Cups, to the Ace of Wands. So you, there is someone in your energy that's wanting to offer you something that's going to help catapult you forward into a new beginning, a new um, a way of living, um, something that's going to bring you full abundance. Yeah. And onto calmer waters with the six of swords, clarifying the 10 of pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. Once it's, it's gonna, 
whatever you've been stressing about, especially if it's money, if you've been going through things where it's kind of been rocky, things have seemed um, settled to you, you guys are moving into calmer waters now, uh, clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. So once you receive this Ten of Pentacles, things are going to really, like, really be easy for you. And that's taking you to the Ace of Pentacles. New investments, new um, 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 possibilities. Um, a, a new uh, path in your career for some of you guys. Yeah, the world. Yes, you're moving into a new cycle. Something that's, you're leaving old cycles out and starting new ones. And this has someone in the Eight of Swords over here. Mm -hmm. Very uh, regretful as well with the Five of Cups here that they didn't invest in you. Didn't believe in your dreams. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Yeah, all the illusions are being broken. Yep, with the moon, uh, clarifying the moon card here. Wow. So anytime you get the Seven of Cups in the reverse of somebody, you're dealing with, um, what, how do I want to say? It's just like any illusions that, um, or anything that was sitting behind this moon, um, is about to be revealed. Okay, with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Thank you, Spirit. I don't know why I couldn't get that out. It's about to be revealed. Somebody is coming out, uh, out of illusions about a situation, either a person, situation, place or thing. Take it how it resonates. But um, whatever you thought something to be, it's about the, you, you, it's, you're about to learn the truth about it. Yeah. Somebody didn't use their intuition about you. Uh, high Priestess in reverse. And these cards is in the upright. And on the bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords, clarifying the Five of Cups here. Yeah. So somebody really um, hurt you bad. A collective okay someone hurt you bad and now they're regretful that they did that they didn't use their intuition about you they didn't invest in um they didn't invest in this connection properly they doubted you um there was envy here for some of you guys temperance angels here on the bottom of the deck sagittarian energy doesn't have to be dealing with the sagittarius but this is some something that um is balancing out for you. Yeah. Someone who was very deceptive towards you. Okay. In the past. Yeah. Something is being restored after that. Um, yeah. And, and well, you're restoring your energy with the temperance angel. Okay. You're looking for peace and harmony. Okay. But then there's someone who was deceptive to this, to your, to you. Right, very deceptive, very conniving, um, a liar, a cheat, a thief. They could be a thief of joy, a thief of happiness, a thief of your money, a thief of um, just anything. They, th somebody just could have been not so nice, you know, told lies about you, spread rumors about you. Um, take it how it resonates. Um, death here. There's a death card. I put it back in the deck. That was the first card that I saw before I started to shuffle. Yeah, scorpionic energy you could be dealing with the Scorpio or someone has Scorpio in their chart. Yeah, hierophant. Yeah, a spirit has definitely stepped in. Something has come to an end. Yep, and now someone is deeply heartbroken because of the actions that they took towards you. Now they're in defensive energy with the Seven of Wands. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Because you guys are getting this passion in the beginning, someone slept on you. And that's just that on that. Someone slept on you. They weren't honest with you. They weren't honest with themselves. I feel a sense, of, let me tell you the real energy I feel here too. There's an energy of jealousy. Just like I said, you had a hater. Yep, you had a hater in your energy who did not want to see you happy, didn't want to see you prosper, didn't want to see you have abundance. None of that, right? So they caused problems for you. They did any and everything to in their power to deceive you, cause strife and chaos and mayhem towards your happiness. And now it's backfiring. And now they're left in heartbreak and in mental conflict for the actions that they took now that you guys are getting these offers and gifts, right? Someone is really pissed off that um, this is happening for you. Could be a cancer that you guys are dealing with, don't have to be, or just someone who's very emotional uh, when it comes to this, um, to the connection that you have with them, the gifts that you're receiving. Um, take it how it resonates. Yeah, I'm using this deck. Yeah, I want to as much information a little backstory to um what's going on by using the intuitive deck see what messages spirit has to say okay guarded uh yeah so 
guidance and strength from your ancestors and spirits is present here thank you and that's why you do have a hierophant card here right uh a higher power is in place somebody i, sp I feel like spirit is stepped in and taking the reins or whatever um over this situation and put an end of the to uh whoever's been in your energy deceiving you and causing you strife chaos and mayhem right some of you guys could be making travel plans okay um someone you're dealing with has mental issues Okay, but listen, just like I sh the the tarot said, this is confirmation spirit gifts in abundance times ten, and what came out right the ten of pentacles. Don't play, right? Yeah, there it is. Come on, spirit. Yeah. Oh, the cops are feds got involved for some of you guys. Okay, because someone um stole something from you, they deceived you. Some of them tried to take money from you. Yeah. Like, I can't make it up. Woo, child. So something got really, really deep, right? Some of you guys are dealing with, either you're dealing with mental issues or conflict, right? But that's, there it is because there's the eight of swords. That's mental conflict and, and uh, despair. There's the confirmation. Can't make it up. Come on, spirit. Okay, we'll draw from the end. Yeah. Yeah, some of you guys are, uh, there's an energy here where somebody was too loose and couldn't close their legs and it's a trigger, right? So somebody um, could have lost you, didn't invest in you properly, was out here, you know, causing strife and mayhem, being with other suitors and things like that, lost you and ended up losing their overall happiness and abundance because they was out here being too too loose and wouldn't close their legs. Yeah, trust the process though. Yeah, everything that you're looking for and you, you invested in, this abundance that's coming in, it's going to be full swing by spring. Look, yep, yeah, and somebody is bitter and fuck as a bitter fucking Betty about it. Absolutely, don't play. I told y'all what the energy is. Yep, yeah. and and yeah, you have a deep knowing who this is too. Thank you, spirit. You have a deep knowing, and someone also has a deep knowing that you're about to get like all of your abundance. You guys are about to be financially rewarded. This clearly came out here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. You guys are moving on into a new cycle. They don't like it. Yeah, all that glitter ain't gold. Yeah. So somebody was out here being a hoe, playing around, slept on you, and you the one who came up and you was the prize the whole time. Ain't that something? Now they're in regret. This person is going to want to come back in your energy collective and be a part of your life for some of y'all, okay? Um, you know, but use discernment. Yeah. Ooh, Spirit said, yep. Yeah. And if they do, return to sender. Wow. Yep, no communication, block, delete, but still stalking you. What the fuck? So this is somebody that is watching you, stalking you or whatever. Um, You know what I'm saying? Hard. But... You're not in communication with them at all. So this is someone you're not talking to. You have no communication. You literally have them blocked, deleted. They can't call you or nothing, but they're stalking you, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, now they're going through a boomerang effect. That negative energy backfire. So all that negative energy, just like I said in the beginning of the reading before I pulled any cards, is that you have like some hater energy, somebody, some people who are not happy for you about the abundance that, you have, that you're going to receive. I could feel the energy thick right that's so crazy job be i be scaring myself sometimes collecting <laughs> but it's the truth yeah you're spiritually protected absolutely you are spiritually protected the hyphen card came out here yeah this is somebody um a spiritual leader guidance okay this could be spirit guide themselves um, your higher power, take it out, resonates. Yeah, somebody is trying to cause social media drama because you guys are getting this upgrade. Oh, yeah, I'm taking all these cards. Spirit is gossiping, okay? Listen, <laughs> yeah, somebody don't want you to have this. Somebody's having some real mental issues uh, because of your level up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wifey hubby. Yeah, you wifey hubby material all day. Yeah, somebody who used to be very hot and cold with you, sometime you with you, now they want to be with you. Yeah, too many opportunities. Uh, <laughs> Too many options and competition in this connection, right? Yeah, somebody was out here being a player, you know? You you know, all that glitter ain't gold, baby. You know, out here chasing tail. And look, lost, lost, lost the whole diamond. Yeah. Somebody is in this connection is an overthinker. It could be you. I energetically feel collective, right? You know, you, but you're overthinking 
I feel like you guys weren't wrong in your overthinking, if that makes sense, right? But some of you guys overthink your talents, your passions. Will this work out? Will this be in my favor? That type of thing. But I need to reassure you guys that you guys are on the right path. Yeah, we had a major impact on this person's life who's sending you these negative energies. Ace of Swords, that is the truth. And you guys are learning some truth and clarity about this person and the situation. Yeah, that they're going through financial problems right now. Yep, initials V, first, middle, last, yours or theirs, due to their secret lovers and sneaky links. Yeah, playing with you in your face. And now they going through the damn thing, right? You about to go into your financial abundance and they having financial problems. That's another reason why they're going to try to come back. Yeah. You guys could have went through a cool down period with this person because it was too much, too draining, energetically draining. Every time you looked around, it was something. It was always something with this person, right? Trying to, you know, child, nobody got time for it. <laughs> Any more messages? Yeah, what is this spirit? Yeah, mm -hmm. they mad. Yeah, because you done glowed up, period. Yeah, and they love you beyond measure. Yeah, mm. well, they didn't act like it before. They, uh, yeah, I don't know about that love you beyond measure. Yeah, initials B, first, middle, last, or is it theirs? Yeah, and they hate your confidence and natural aura sends you negative energy. Absolutely, don't play. Yeah. So somebody, I feel like for some of you guys, you have somebody that's in your energy that do love you beyond measure, but it ain't this person who's sending you this negative energy. I could tell you that. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't that. Okay, drop it. Yeah. What is it for the collective? Yeah. Too prideful to apologize on how they treated you in the past and the bullshit chaos and mayhem that they took you through off the top. Yeah. Rags to riches, spiritual, spiritual money. So if you guys was going through some, a major financial struggle or whatever that, you know, especially if you're like a business owner or entrepreneur, you know, entrepreneurs, people don't talk about it enough, but we'd be some of the brokest people, right? Financially, not spiritually broke, right? I'm not in that energy anymore. I'm saying like, you know, when you first start off, you go through a lot of financial setbacks. And I'm not even going to lie. Even even if you are financially well off or whatever, you still have a lot of financial responsibilities. But those things are about to change. Rags to riches, spiritual money is on the way. I know that's right. Come on, collective. Yes. So let me get you guys some party messages, okay, to help you. Just kind of guide you through, okay? Um, I think I haven't pulled the angel um, oracle messages in a minute. So let me pull those to kind of help guide you guys along on, you know, how you should handle um, the things that's coming at you collective, okay? Um, moving forward. Um, just some, just some, just some helpful guidance. Okay, let me just kind of scoop these up to the side because it gets crazy when I shuffle these cards. And I'm also going to pull from the Soul Journey uh, deck as well, I believe. Where's my Soul? No, not the Soul Journey, the Moonology. The Moonology. I'm going to pull from the Moonology deck, Manifestation deck as well to get you guys some parting messages. Yeah, I hope this is resonating with you guys, okay? Yeah, the energy was pretty strong, yeah. On the bottom of the deck, look for a sign. I'm going to pull it, but I'm definitely going to shuffle. What else, spirit? There's a collective mix and now regarding their situation. To help push them forward. messages yeah the situation will improve absolutely the tarot said so rewind the video yeah you guys are going into a new era and i feel like you guys are going to move to calmer waters and leave what what no longer serves you so i hope you guys manifest it during this um blood moon okay yeah this full moon yeah abundance there it is the situation your abundance what i see Thank you, sir, for these. Oh, my God. These messages are beautiful. Yeah. What else, spirit? Pull it. And you're um, going to be improving your health as well. Yeah, because some of you guys have been stressed out, okay? And for some of you guys, whatever it is you was um, thinking about, it's not the right time to even deal with the shit. Uh, spirit is like, not not at this time. Keep moving forward. Um, Don't look. Don't. Don't. 
it's not the right right time to be entertaining bullshit chaos and mayhem um but take that message how it resonates but that's the energy i feel yeah because you're ready you're ready for this abundance thank you it's no need to worry thank you Ooh, off the top let it drop yep yep a year from now you guys are going to be at such a more beautiful place you will not believe it but for some of you guys it's even sooner but the abundance is starting now okay but by next year you're going to look back to this year and be like oh, i can't believe i survived all that right so this is the messages that i have for you for this let me go into the monology i'm really quick Okay, the messages for the monology deck spirit. Yes, I do try to keep these cards in these um, boxes um, because I like them to stay neat and pretty <laughs> as much as possible. And then the messages spirit. Give me the messages. Messages, practice gratitude. Last quarter of the moon in Sagittarius, right? Yeah. Practice gratitude. Be grateful for everything that you have because when you're grateful for where you are and what you have now, you'll appreciate everything that's coming towards you. And that's the truth. Yeah. Be grateful. And I mean sincerely grateful for everything that you have. Yeah. New moon in Virgo. Trust all will be well. And it will. Energetically, I feel it will. If you have any doubt, you need to erase the doubt that you had. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, what is it? Glass quarter moon in Pisces. Talk less and feel more. So whatever emotions that you feel, feel them. It's okay. Don't, you don't have, you don't have to hide your emotions. It's okay to feel them, right? Release them how you need to release them, okay? Yeah, at first quarter moon in Aquarius, trust the universe. Everything is working out in your favor. That's all I have for you, you guys. I hope this resonated with you. Make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button as you guys come in to watch this video. It does help circulate to other signs who need to receive this beautiful message. As well as if you would like to donate to the channel, you can hit the beautiful heart to the right. Um, um, next uh, to the right, uh, next to the left, uh, to the to the like sign. And, or you could uh, send a cash app via cash app to Real Love Tarot um, via cash app, okay? I love you guys so much. Personal readings are still closed, probably until after the new year. Um, but yeah, I love you guys and thank you for tuning in. Bye.